Okay, I'm up and running, everything's rolling, great. Hello, welcome to a brief or maybe not so brief video about the 6K photo mode in the GH5. Now I'm making this as a video response to Photo Josef. Hi Josef, good channel, I really like your, your content, especially about the GH5 because it's a cool camera. And uh, I watched your video about the uh, 6K photo mode, extracting frames from 6K photo mode. And uh, you said that you found the solution to grab stills from the footage and that you needed to convert them. However, uh, there is a, a way of, of doing it without converting the files, especially um, or maybe specifically if you're on a PC. I don't know about the, your Mac guys, what you need to do, but on a PC, this is what I do. I'm going to go out and capture some 6K photo files and then bring them back here and show you later what it looks like when you extract the frames. Okay, so I have arrived. If you're wondering why I'm crying, it's because this is in the northern part of Sweden. Right now it's the middle of April and it's still minus 12 degrees Celsius in the mornings. So riding the bike, getting some wind, you start crying. I'm recording this on my iPhone because it, it's simple. To record this in 6K photo, I'm going to use the GH5, of course. I'm going to use the Panasonic Leica 100 to 400 mil lens, so that gives me an 800 mil equivalent, or at least the reach. And with that, I should be able to get some nice pics. I'm at an angle though; I'm above it, so it, it might be better. Might actually be better to go down onto the ice and get a lower angle, but we'll see. I'm gonna shoot some video first, so you can see what it looks like from this end. This is filming them now at a reach equivalent to 800 millimeters in 35 millimeter film. <laughs> Quite a cool looking piece, isn't it? So I'm shooting in 4K photo mode right now. Ah, good. We've got some action. I'm gonna just recheck my focus. And it looks a bit blurry. You think that it's a bit blurry, but actually it's not. It's the that ground heat effect. So I've gotten the clips I want. I'm going to wrap up and get them back home and copy them to the computer and show you guys what the rest of the process looks like to extract the stills from the H265 6K photo mode from the GH5. <laughs> cool. And I've copied all the files into my system and like you said it's taxing on the on the computer on the systems to play back the H.265 files that generated by the GH5 when you're recording into 6K photo mode. But I can still extract the stills in, an, in a quite easy way by using a software called PotPlayer. So this is one of the 6K photo files I shot down by the bridge. And as you will see, it opens up perfectly fine with PotPlayer. Now it does stutter a bit. If you pause it and play it, you get a brief moment of fluidness or fluidity, what do you call it? Never mind. I'm going to full screen this. Now it's going to be 4x3. It's not going to give you the full resolution because it's not cropping in. But what you can do now is if I use my F and D keys on the keyboard, I can step one frame forward or one step backward. So F for forward, D for backward. Actually, I did. You know, I went down and I got the lower angle. So I'm going to try to find that one. This is also, ah, here we go. Here we have a, a, a bit of a lower angle. I think I got, did I get one that was even better? Ah, oh, you see, this, this guy is even flapping his wings. Things aren't gonna look super tack sharp. It's not the problem with the camera or the lens. This is actually the heat from the sun hitting the ice and the really freezing cold water and the snow and generating heat. And if you're shooting with a long, long lens, this is a long lens, it's the, the 100 to 400 mil. And that's going to compress a lot of space between you and your subject. And if you have those curvy, that flowing, that rising air, you're going to get those waves. It started off with one of these guys flapping his wings or her wings. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to step forward with the F key. And you see flapping, 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 flapping. I want to get it right maybe there or, oh, there we go. That's, that's nice. I go back one. It takes a bit longer, but here, here we go. Now, you want to go and right click in this window. You go to video, oh, not subtitles, video. And then you go to video capture. I would suggest you 
check this option, store captured images into play folders if available. So if you click that one, it means that when you frame grab, those grabbed frames are gonna end up next to the original media file. Now, you have some options here. If you're working with Photoshop, you can select to just copy this frame and then you can paste that into Photoshop, for instance. So by that you do by pressing Control C. But if you wanna save your current source frame, you hit Control E. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm gonna hit Control E, and it's gonna say up to the left here, frame capturing, that's it. I've saved a, a JPEG. Now, if I were to open this up in my image viewer, I can zoom in. And as you see, it's not perfectly sharp, but uh, that's because of the, the heat uh, rising from the, from the ground. A very quick way to capture stills. Not a very quick video, I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to show you what, you know, what goes on behind the scenes and you have tons of features in, in Pot Player. Yeah, I guess that's it. My recommendation for PC people at, at least, um, if you have any recommendations for Mac, please uh, put them in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you come back and watch some more videos of ours. We're gonna to try to produce even more content around the GH5 and, and other gear and, and also our main project that we do up here in northern part of Sweden. Hope you like this and um, see you next time.